Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle and today I'm going to be reviewing This Gorge by Jennifer A. Nielsen. Um, before I get into this book review, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell and that like button, and let's get into this book review. Um, so this book is honestly really interesting and I really enjoyed reading it. So I'm going to rate this book a 10 out of 10. It is very adventurous, so if you like books that have some adventure in it, then I think this book is great for you. I think this book is also relatable after all that's happened with COVID-19 and vaccines and all. Um, the main character of this book, the, uh, from the main protagonist, and from whose uh, point of view the uh, book was written in, her name is Annie. And um, Annie is a river person and there's kind of like different different people, uh, tribes in a colony. And she is a part of the river, uh, the river people um, tribe and she has a best friend and his name is Weevil. And one day um, she's eating a fruit and there's wardens and wardens are kind of like soldiers and um, she's kind of like, there's another con uh, there's another tribe and it's called Keldon and Keldon really don't like the tribe, uh, the river people and to them the river people are like grubs and they call them grubs and um, they really look down to the river people. The river people, the river people themselves are very strong. They um, are very good at finding cures for any sort of disease that comes up. They have uh, lots of resources like thrush wood, which is a leaf that apparently tastes really disgusting, but is very, but is uh, very good for you, and it also helps cure a disease and helps you stay strong throughout your sickness. And there's this disease, and it's called the scourge, and this is what the book is about: the scourge. Now, um, the scourge is a disease. It's kind of like COVID-19, and Except from COVID-19, you can kind of like, uh, you can recover from COVID-19. There's a good chance that you can. Um, but with the scourge, that's not the case. Um, what happens is that if you test positive for the scourge, or if you've been in contact with anyone who has a scourge, or even if you're showing any sorts of symptoms, like literally a rash, you'll be sent to this place that's called the colony. And you, um, by law, um, now it is um, um, illegal to leave that colony if once you've stepped inside. And you can't leave that colony and if you get really, really sick, you're sent off to the infirmary. And um, people who go in there apparently never come out. Um, so when those wardens slash soldiers come and see Annie, Annie is taken away because from eating that fruit, um, it's like a very juicy fruit and it's also red, so it's kind of like a cherry and then there was like red juice all over her, which looked like a rash, and they thought that was a symptom. So Annie's being taken away and Weevil is supposed to meet up with her at this place so that they can do some stuff together, hang out, and also get more of those fruits. And um, Annie is in serious trouble right now and she's trying to kick free. She's a very strong person. She's very compassionate about everything that she's doing. Um, she um, she uh, is very optimistic and she's not a pessimist at all. Um, like I said, her best, fr uh, her best friend Weevil is going to be here any minute. And right now she's being tied up and she's panicking because she she knows that she doesn't have this gorge, or at least she thinks that she doesn't. And of course, everyone who, um, if somebody tells you that you have COVID-19, even if you deny it, even though you haven't felt any of the symptoms, you're still going to have that little, little voice in you, that little question, do I have it? And that's what Annie is going through right now, and she's panicking, and Weevil comes to save the day, or at least tries to. Weevil ends up getting thrown into the truck with her and they both end up going to the governor. Um, not exactly the governor, actually they both end up in a testing cell where they both have to remain for 24 hours to see if any sort of symptoms come up. Um, and also they're going to jail for um, 
not obeying the worded orders. So um, Weevil and Annie are very smart. They're river people. They're strong, and they have. Uh, and Annie has a nag for getting in trouble. She can barely last two minutes without getting in trouble, and she says that the third minute always seems to trouble her the most. Um, but Weevil finds a way to escape, and Annie is left all alone with this girl um, because she gets caught. And um, what happens, let me explain this a little further. So her and Weevil, uh, Weevil, Annie and Weevil, sorry, they're both trying to escape, so she unlocks the lock to the cell, and they're both running when um, and when Weevil goes a little too fast, and she's trying to follow in his footsteps, but she's not exactly sure if she's going in the right direction. And there's somebody on a boat who's screaming, help. And she decides to help this girl, and she doesn't know that this girl is technically going to ruin her life. Um, this girl, her name is Della, her dad ran for governor but lost against Governor Felling, who is the governor of all these tribes, and um, she's, uh, she at first appears to be a very sassy, a very rude, and also a very, how do I say this, like somebody who's very, who's a little too sure of themselves, a little too confident about themselves. Um, um, so Della um, asks for help, she's screaming help me, and she's on a boat in the river and the wardens have caught up to Annie and Annie was helping Della, but now that Della has come in contact with Annie, you guessed it, they both end up in that cell. Um, they're both being tested as of now and they're given this medicine. And this medicine is supposed to help them get through the scourge. Um, so Della is very, very sick, and uh, Annie hasn't been showing any symptoms yet. Even after taking the test, she hasn't been show showing any system symptoms. But um, Della, on the other hand, has, and she's super sick, and she's crying out to Annie for God's sake for help. And um, and. Annie doesn't want the scourge, she has a family to get home to, she has a best friend, and she needs to make sure that he's safe, and she also has an entire life that's very far away, and if she gets the scourge, then it's all over for her. And so she's not willing to help Della, and this is going to affect her in many different ways. Um, when the warden sees that Della is very sick, um, and Annie admits to it, Della is very upset and scratches Annie. And now it's a 99.9% .9 chance that um, Annie has um, the scorch. And Della is taken away to the colony. Um, but now, um, now Annie is left all alone in the cell and they're suspecting that she has the scorch. She's taken to the governor and Apparently she's still not showing any sy symptoms, and there's apparently an old way of testing for the scourge. And um, the doctor would rather not do it, but does it because the governor Felling orders him to. And he puts, he cuts her with the knife, and all of a sudden everything starts getting really, really hot for Annie. And Annie's like, I'm really dizzy. It's very hot in here, but I can't let them know because then they're going to assume that I have the Scourge, and I don't think I have the Scourge. Um, but Annie is also internally, internally panicking a lot because there's also a big chance that she does. And now they've started to see that she has changed a lot, her, uh, her posture and everything, and they're like, she has the Scourge. So now she's being sent off to the colony with Della, and Weevil comes running back. He's like, if you're going to the colony, then I'm coming with you. That's a true friendship right there, but anywho, they're all in the boat and they're all heading to um, the colony. When, um, Aunt, when Della is in the boat and she spots Annie helping someone into the boat, someone who's very sick, who definitely has a scourge, um, Della's like, don't let her on the boat, I don't want to be near her. And it's like, Della, you're basically just as sick as she is. So um, Annie decides to throw Della into the water. And Della's medicine 
that's supposed to be helping her get through the scourge uh, topples off with her when she falls into the water. And now it's kind of like a revenge game for both of them. They both they both just want to get revenge on each other, and it's kind of like a never-ending thing that's going to continue forever. And um, now they've gone to the colony, everyone here has the Scourge, and now there's no way they can get out. Um, Della absolutely hates Annie and promises Annie that she's going to make her life miserable. So that is the beginning of the book, that's what's going to happen, uh, that's kind of like the basic plot. But um, the real question here is there has to be a cure for the Scourge, how are they going to find it? And um, when, when Annie is punished for um, doing something that she shouldn't have in, this, in the colony, she's put inside of a cage and Della comes to visit her. But Della and Annie aren't friends, so clearly something's up. Um, and Annie apologizes because she wants this never-ending war to be over with Della. And Della's like, you know what, I'm not going to accept your apology because um, then I would actually feel bad for you being stuck in this cage. So she takes Annie's medicine all for herself. And uh, overnight, Annie feels super, super sick, so is Annie going to be able to survive this gorge? Is, um, is Weevil and Annie going to be able to find a cure for the Scourge? And are they going to make it out of the colony alive? You'll have to read the book to find out. Um, so yeah, um, 10 out of 10 for this book and I totally recommend you read it. And as you guys know, I have a sneak peek to my book reviews where I show you guys what the next book I'm going to be reviewing looks like. And um, here it is. It is called The City of Ember. And here's what it looks like. And if you guys want to check out this book review, then make sure you check out my page. I post every Sunday. Um, and yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and that like button. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!